yes, I am very nervous. Hey, just be calm, Marco. Okay, okay. Hey, my head is okay, my head. Okay. <coughs> Buongiorno, ladies, gentlemen, and of course, the kids. I'm very pleased to meet you. My name is Marco, and do you know what is my job? You have to speak very loud so I can hear you. Yeah. Yes, very good, very good. Yes, I am a cook or a chef. Yes, and you know, I am from Italy, and I like to make Italian food. Do you like Italian food? Let me ask you, do you like spaghetti? Si, very good. Do you like pizza? Si, si, okay. Do you like tiramisu? Ah, yes, okay, very good, very good. Who likes gelato? Ice cream? Eh, me, 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 me. Okay. So, eh, today is a very special day. Do you know why? I am asking you, huh? Do you know why is today a very special day? Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, do you know why it's a special day? No, I don't, I don't. Today, it is the birthday of the king. Oh, wow, the king's birthday. See, see. And do you know what he has asked me? to bake for him. Uh, I don't know, uh, what would you ask a cook to bake for someone on their birthday? Uh, a cake! Oh, of course, a birthday cake. Yes, yes, yes. And for His Majesty, I want to make a very special cake. Eh? Mm -hmm. I am going to tell you a secret. It is a cake of happiness. Yes. Uh, uh, excuse me, Marco. See, uh, what is a, a cake of uh, happiness? Oh, it is a very special cake. It is a cake. You take one, just one crumb of the cake and you will be happy. Yes, you will be smiling all the time. And when you have one piece of the cake, you know what? Uh, no, what? You want to have another piece. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, what do we have in the cake? Well, I like to have uh, some fruit. I don't know, uh, you can tell me what is your favorite fruit. Eh? Oh, oh, the boy over here, he say a strawberry. Oh, yes, strawberry is a very good. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, uh, and uh, what about uh, the girl over there? Eh? Oh, blueberries. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, and uh, uh, one more fruit. Oh, oh, you like a mango. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I like a mango too. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so, and uh, uh, what else will make you happy? Uh, uh, do you like uh, uh, ice cream? Yeah, okay. Then I'm going to put in some ice cream and uh, maybe we have some uh, Chocolate. Si, 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 si. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, what about that? What could I put on the top of the cake? Hmm? Oh, see. Si. Some sprinkles. Yes, yes, yes. Rainbow sprinkles. Oh, I like that girl over there. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Rainbow sprinkles. So, now I am going to go back and I will stir the cake. Stir, stir, and then I will bake. I will give the cake to the king for his birthday. Uh, ciao, see you, ciao, ciao. Ba, 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 now, if this story was just about Marco the cook, well, that would be the end of the story because he went and he made the cake and he gave it to the king. But the story is not about Marco. Huh? Huh? So now, oh, I'm getting very excited because I think very specially just for us today, his Majesty, the King, mm -hmm, is coming to actually speak to you. Now, when the King comes, you don't have to stand up, all right, because, no, I mean, you're there and he's here in the studio. But when he says, hello, everybody, it's really important that you respond and say, hello, Your Majesty. Can we just practice that now? So I'll pretend to be the King and I'm going to say, uh, hello, everybody. And you have to say back to me really loud so I can hear it. Hello, Your Majesty. Are we ready?
So the king will come in, bum, bada, bum, 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 and he'll say, hello, everybody. Wow, that was excellent. Bum, bada, bum, 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 bum. I think he's coming. Bum, bada, bum, 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 bum. Make way for his royal majesty, the king. Bum, 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 Greetings, my loyal subjects. Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I am so pleased to be with you here today, uh, speaking to you by this remarkable <laughs> teleconference. Yes, yes, I am so sorry that I can't be with you today on what is a very special day for me. Uh, uh, do you know what is today? <laughs> yes! Well done. Yes, it's my birthday. Uh, 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 yes. uh, well, now, I tell you, I'm so happy because my cook, uh, uh, what's his name? Marco. Oh, that's right, Marco, yes. Uh, have you met him? Yes. Well, uh, he made for me an absolutely splendid birthday cake. Uh, it had strawberries. Do you like strawberries? I love strawberries, yes. Blueberries and uh, what's that yellow fruit called? Um, a mango. Oh, yes, mango. That's right, yes. And there was chocolate and sprinkles. Oh, it was so exciting, so exciting. And he said it's a cake of happiness, yes. Mm. Can you believe it? Yes. Only one bite and it'll make you so happy. Mm. Well, you know what? I thought about that and I decided I'm not going to eat the cake. What, Your Majesty? Uh, but Marcus made it for you specially. Uh, no, no, no. You don't understand and don't interrupt. I'm sorry. Do you understand? Yes, 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 Your Majesty. Please explain. Right. Um, yes, uh, because if it's going to make me happy, well, I am happy. Today is my birthday, uh, and everybody's going to come and celebrate, and we're going to have a jolly good party at the palace later on. So I think I'm going to keep the birthday cake for another day, a day when I'm not feeling happy, when I'm feeling rather sad, and when I think I and all you people need cheering up. Do you think that's a good idea? Hmm? Yeah. Do you think that's a good idea? Oh, I think it's a very good idea, Your Majesty. Yes, I thought so too. So, that's what I'm going to do. Well, uh, got to get back to the palace and get ready for the party. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, see you. See you. Bye-bye. So the king went back to the palace and he had a really wonderful birthday party with lots of singing and dancing and eating lots of good food apart from the cake. And if this story was just about the king, well, that would be the end of the story. But no, it's not. You see, when people heard about this very special cake, and that even just one little bite could make you very happy, some people began to have ideas about what they might do with such a Have you heard about this very special cake? Hmm. Well, let me tell you. Let me have a look, have a look, have a look. All right, we're alone. Very good. So let me tell you. Hmm. This cake, I'll tell you my plan. When I get hold of the cake, I am going to chop it up. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, yes, I'm not going to eat it. No, 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 no. I sell it. I'm going to make lots and lots of money from people who are not happy and want to have a bite of my cake. <laughs> so, all I want to do is find out where the king is keeping that cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? Do you know where it is? You'd tell me if you knew where it was. You would tell me, wouldn't you? I'd let you have a bite of the cake. I promise. I promise. <sighs> Where's that cake? I'd better go and see if I can find it. Hmm. Uh, no. This okay. way. Right. was a very clever king. And he thought there might be people like that man who were trying to take his cake and use it for their own benefit. And so he took the cake and he hid it on a secret island far, far away. Was pull out, Lubian. Shh. Mm. And 
over time, people forgot all about the cake. And the weeks passed, the months passed, even the years passed. Uh, luckily, the cake was being kept in a very special place so that it wouldn't get old or stale. Mm. But it would always remain delicious. Until one day, I'm sorry to say, there came that rather sad, and dull and depressing day, uh, rather like what unfortunately we've been experiencing with this awful pandemic. Mm. And the people weren't happy. But by this time the king was no longer around and people had forgotten about the cake. But luckily there was a boy, a young boy, and fortunately his grandmother loved to tell him stories. And when she was young, a long, long, long time ago, she had been a serving girl at the palace. Mm. And she was actually at the birthday party of the king, and she knew all about the cake. And she had told her grandson not only about the cake of happiness, but where that cake might be found. And the boy thought, oh, I'm going to go and get it. Mm. And off he went. Oh, but the boy had a problem. How is he, uh, being so young, going to get all the way to pull out the bin? He couldn't drive, could he? Luckily, the boy had his own hot air balloon. He rose up, he rose up in the air, and he began to fly, and he flew high, high over Singapore. He flew, and he flew, and he flew, and the people looked up, and they said, Oh, look at that boy flying, yay, look at me, I'm flying, wow, I'm going to get there all the way. Pull out and he carried on flying and he finally got to the island and when he got to the island he knew because his grandmother had told him where he might find the cake and so he took the cake in his balloon and again he rose up carrying the cake and he was so excited because he was flying. He thought, I'm going to make everybody happy. We're all going to be able to be happy with the cake, yeah. But as he was flying back over the sea, a flock of birds with long, sharp beaks, and they, they smelled the cake. I think it was the chocolate. And they came with their sharp beaks to the balloon and they poked, poke, 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 and the air and the balloon began, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. It started sinking down, falling down, 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 down towards the sea. And the boy thought, oh no. What can I do? I'm in real trouble. I've got to lighten the balloon. I can't jump out. I can't swim. He thought, I know. I could throw out the cake. And so he took the cake and he threw the cake, wee out from the balloon. And as the cake sank down, the boy rose up and he was able to sail away on to safety. But what about the cake? The cake was falling, falling, falling down towards the sea when suddenly yeah, 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 an angry sea dragon came out from the water and caught the cake in its mouth. But this was a cake of happiness. And the moment that the angry sea dragon yeah, tasted that cake of happiness, all its anger disappeared. And for the first time, ooh, 
the sea dragon was happy and it smiled and it tossed the cake up in the air and it went pa and it broke the cake for the sea dragon thought this is a cake that should be shared and it blew and it blew the crumbs to the north and to the south. And yeah, it blew the crumbs to the east. And yeah, it blew the crumbs to the west. Yeah. And those crumbs from the cake of happiness began to fly around the world. And they say that those crumbs are still flying even now and if you are very lucky you may suddenly find that a crumb from the cake of happiness will come down and will land ah, on your tongue and when you taste it mm, it just tastes so so good that of course you want to have another another crumb and here it comes and ah, Mm -hmm. oh, yes, it tastes so, so good. And that is why you may still see, even today, the next time when you are allowed to go out. If you go to the bus, you will see people who are there standing, waiting for the bus. With their mouths open. Or, or when you next catch an MRT, you'll see people on the platform and they'll be waiting like this. Why? Because they're waiting and hoping that they can catch another crumb from the cake of happiness. So I wish you will have many, many more crumbs from the cake of happiness and that your life will be full of joy share with you a special, special secret and eh? how you eh, can make your own cake of happiness. Yes, okay. Eh. Secret number one, okay. Eh. It doesn't have to be a cake. Huh? What do you mean? How, how can you, it not be a cake if it's a cake of happiness? Ah, see, 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 see. You see, you can make um, a sandwich of happiness or a, a pizza of happiness or a uh, Marco see uh, uh, could I have a, a, an ice cream of happiness oh see 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 so uh, how do you make it first uh, with your mommy uh, and your daddy uh, you sit down and you talk about uh, what would make uh, let's say you want to make a, a pizza of happiness okay uh, okay uh, what uh, toppings you would like on your pizza, okay? Uh, together, you uh, help your mommy uh, and or your daddy to make the pizza because as you are making the ingredients, mixing them together, you will add the two most important ingredients in any recipe you can ever make, okay? Are you listening? Eh? The first is you will add laughter and the second you will add love. And when you stir in the laughter and the love into your recipe, uh, you will produce your own cake or pizza or sandwich or soup or ice cream, anything of happiness. And every time you eat it, you will be happy and smiling and you will remember the good times you had when you are making it. So, that is my secret. Go, talk about it with your mommy and daddy and make your own special food of happiness. Enjoy. Bye. Ciao.